Okay. So now we're going to move. Um, oh, so no, we, we do have a couple of minutes um, for general questions. So if anyone has any, any questions on any of the practical um, actions that we've talked about so far, so it could be making signs, making a banner, going to the prayer vigil, um, writing to your MP. Are there any questions that have come up for people or could be comments of, of what you've seen uh, that's really worked? Any questions, Miriam or Dee, coming up? I think uh, I can't see any questions, but there's already been um, some commentary over types of things people want to do. Um, okay. And Moni's already... I'm thinking about someone in the, the Prime Minister's electorate. Great. Well, if there's no questions, we can, we can lead straight into the, the what now section. Um, actually, I've just thought of one, one thing that I didn't mention. So letter writing can be an individual thing. You can write your own letter to your, your MP, but it could be more fun, you know, to hold a letter writing gathering, have a little letter writing party, gather with two or three other people um, and, and encourage one another to write your own letters. Sometimes it's easier to act with others. Um, it's a bit like exercise. Um, some people like to exercise with a group. It's harder by yourself. So maybe it's the same with advocacy as exercise. So if it's easier for you, find one or two, two or three other people and write letters together. So, this uh, saying, John, that uh, uh, we, are, we are putting uh, pressure to the five uh, girls who are here. Uh, they're Otto's uh, uh, daughters. Yep. And uh, they're right in the, the prime minister's uh, electorate. So um, go, go for it, girls. Do you know what? Otto just ordered a banner. So <laughs> you could even just take a photo in front of the banner once it arrives. Oh, it's already done. Don't you think? <laughs> 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 I'll definitely work on my letter. Look, I, I think I'll, I'll say, add one more thing. I think the most important thing we can do in our letters, it's, 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 there's a lot of technical information and Thea talked about all the good reasons. There's great evidence. There's great evidence why we should move to more, more, more to renewables. But I think the most important thing is just people, decision makers, hearing from ordinary people and saying, I care about this and this is why I care. And if it's just that, if it's three lines, that's fantastic. One thing we did talk about yesterday, John, as well, was um, it, it, kind of combining the photo and the letter. So personalising the letter um, with the photo and you know, you could um, you could write a letter and put uh, multiple names in the same letter as another option, um, and identify that you're all from the same church or the same group. Great idea. So we might move now. We're talking about it already. We're already talking about action. So the next bit is to, I guess, the question is what now, and this is the call to action section. Um, Dee, if you could just show the next cartoon slide. So I really like this next slide. It kind of sums up the, the, the two possibilities we have in life and the two possibilities, I guess, we have as part of the church or if we're part of a faith community as well. So we just look at that. So two possibilities, and I guess um, the, the, the definite message from Thea and Chris and Moni is really there isn't a choice, it's involvement, um, that we're called to be involved in some way. So I guess that's what we're going to turn to now, um, how we get involved and what actions we might take. So could we just for one, just 30 seconds or one minute have some silent reflection on what, what action we will take um, as a result of what we've heard about so far tonight. And then we're going to move into, uh, Dee's going to put us into breakout rooms. 
Uh, and there's, there's two focus questions. Um, what's the main thing that stood out to you from tonight? And what is one action you will take in response? What is, what is the main thing that stood out to you from tonight? And what is one action you will take in response? So let's have 30 second quiet thinking time and then Dee will put us into breakout rooms. Oh, and so can we have one person from each breakout room when we come back, just sharing a couple of the ideas for action? Just a couple of the ideas, not a whole list, but just a couple of the main ones when we come back together. Thanks.